I think I, I think I know Italy fairly well. But he, I really don't know what to expect because I'm keen to see if there's a German influence here, if there's Austrian or Swiss. It, you know, I really don't know what to expect here. My cooking is a real back to basics. We make our charcuterie, bread, uh, turn around butters. This is everything encompassed. They don't try to do that. It just happens naturally. This is an awe-inspiring place. I can just feel it. So, you know, the cows are just there. You know, I, I might buy milk, but like, they're just there. <laughs> Um, to be introduced to South Tyrol from a master, uh, somebody who really knows the land, and that was Norbert. Welcome you to well. Sud Tyrol. How are you? you? Not a bad, not a bad office, huh? It's a very challenging area if you think about these great big, huge peaks, different climates, and everywhere you go. And he's learned that he's to preserve and to get things when they're at their best and have something for the winter and, and he, you know he's, he's brought that ancient culture into forward thinking in a three mission star way it's the first time it's ever happened you know and he introduced that to me which was, which was I feel so lucky to be part of again lovely lovely textures but it's really really clean but very strong in flavour lovely very important in our cuisine is that we are reusing everything up to 100% would you cook this at home as well for, for you and the family? <laughs> at home I am not allowed to cook. <laughs> you do the recipes in a completely different way because you were before you were thinking on, on, on a product and you were working around the recipe, flying the products. Mm. Now we wait until the farmer brings us the product and then we work around the product. Und schön langsam ist das halt alles was mehr geworden, alles was mehr gewachsen. Und jetzt zur Zeit bin ich auf circa 6 bis 700 Sorten, auf einem halben Hektar circa. Und eigentlich durch die Bank alles, was ich so finden kann, was gut ist in meinen Augen oder für die Küche und bei uns da einfach gut wächst in natürlicher Form, weil durch den bin ich auch vertraut gekommen, dass die natürlichste Umbauform, das heißt einfach so natürlich, wie wir das da machen, für den Geschmack um und auf ist. Meine Passion richtig ausleben kann, weil sie suchen immer neues Gemüse, unbekanntes Gemüse, was sie nicht kennen. Und das ist meine größte Freude. I mean, I'm just recapping now and I just see myself, you know, 2000 meters high up on this incredible landscape with the most amazing abundance of flavors of and I'm, I'm you know I'm just thinking what Harold is doing he is dictating to this region of the highest density of Michelin stars in the country and he's telling them what to cook it's not the other way around which it is in every other place I've been he's dictating what these guys are cooking and they're listening to him und drum könnte man auch sagen der Boden ist das Gold mit dem man gute Kräuter hervorbringt. Boden allein ist auch noch nicht alles genau. Es braucht einmal auch die geografische Lage, es braucht die Sonnenexposition, es braucht auch die kühlen Bergwinde da, also alles in dem äh, ein Zusammenspiel von den ganzen äh, atmosphärischen und geografischen Bedingungen ermöglichen äh, und äh, dass einfach wunderbare Kräuter wachsen können. I think I have a, a very good understanding of Italian cooking and I was expecting to see that in South Tyrol. But I spent a lot of time going from one corner to the other and through valleys and over mountains and what I saw on the plate and the whole dining scene and is South Tyrol. It, it has its own identity, you know, and it's wildflowers, it's wonderful bread that has this burst of flavour and it's this unexpected burst of flavour you get in all these dishes. And it's not like anything else, it's South Tyrol. The whole place just feels vibrant and, and healthy and, uh, you know, 300 days of sunshine. I mean, it, it just blew me, blew me away. Thank you.